Hi everyone, welcome back to Peerish Podcast. This session is going to be about the similarities between Wipro and uh, ITC. So, Wipro was started in 1945. It was known as Western India Palm Refined Oils Limited. It was originally a palm oil manufacturing company. And in the early 1980s, it started making computer hardware. And in the 1990s, it started its journey in the IT field. So, the company previously was known as a palm oil company but now when anyone ask wipro they will say it as an it company the same thing is happening with the itc the itc was originally making the cigarette products but they have slowly transitioned into paper packaging hotels and even they have it companies also so the identity of the company is changing uh, gradually so how do you see the future of the itc and are there any companies? Uh, there are many yeah. companies like this, which have started their journey and now they've evolved into something else. Mm-hmm. Especially companies, the older they get, the more they evolve. Mm. Very rare are the companies which started doing one thing mm. and they still continue doing the same thing. Mm. What is more common is where you see this evolution happening. And this is true for human beings too. We all take different jobs. Yeah. We hope something and we study in college. Then we decide can't get the job. Mm, that is not that, yeah, that, that is not kind of job we got mm. or if we didn't work out the way we wanted, we take whatever we get. Mm. Then you get promoted or you find something else and you move into that mm. career. And uh, so all of us have three, four careers in life. Yeah. And it's very normal. I have spoken a lot about this. So for companies too, at the end of the day, once it becomes a public limited company, mm. especially it's about making money for the investors. So wherever the fortunes lay, the company will slowly move towards that direction. It's like how you see in nature. And we pro starting as a palm oil company into to the software giant now. 30 years from now, what will we pro be doing? Maybe not software. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what we pro will be doing with 30 years from now. Same is true for ITC. ITC started as a small part of a big tobacco company mm. with Indian operations and it evolved and grew and grew and now it's less to do with tobacco and more to do with everything else but tobacco. Yeah. 30 years from now, tobacco will hardly be present in their portfolio mm. other than the name Indian Tobacco Company. Because mm. ITC name they will not lose because they have built that brand mm. so long and so hard. Maybe they will not call themselves Indian Tobacco Company. Maybe they will change it to Indian Trading Company mm. or something. But it will still be called ITC. Yeah. And there are many companies like this around the world where you can go and see. They either diversify, they have multiple divisions, mm. or the company itself switches from one product to another. Okay. But it is healthy for a company to do this. Mm. Last thing you want to become is like Blackberry, which disappeared. Mm. Palm, another company which disappeared. Nokia disappeared. Yeah. Motorola mobile phones. At one point in time, Motorola, Hello Moto was dominating the world. Mm. Everyone was buying a Motorola and phone. They started making smartphones. Also. Yeah, but it's not there where it was. Okay. Then Imagine you are the market leader. Mm. You're saying what you're saying is right. Yeah. You're playing like Dhoni. Mm. Then suddenly you're playing like street cricket. Okay. We are not able to break into the Indian team anymore. Mm. What happened to your talent? Because you need to keep evolving. This is very true for companies. Mm. And it can happen to Apple too. We are seeing Apple dominating Mm. now. If Apple is not able to make the next cutting edge product. In AI. In AI, Mm. wherever. I Mm. I can't see the future. Mm. I don't think you can see the future either. Okay. So you do not know. But to prevent it is, is to keep agility. To stay agile, you have to keep on innovating and moving. This is the main reason I've done multiple videos where I'm telling, encouraging all you people, youngsters watching out there to adopt AI. Yeah. You cannot fight AI. The AI is not going to go away. Mm. Really wishing it away is not happening. And there's not any government can put AI back in its box. Like social media cannot be put back in a box until and unless all human beings stop using social media, which can happen. Until and unless all people stop using AI, which I don't think will ever happen. It's like a calculator. No one's going to stop using it. Mm. So you better move and learn with the times. So agility is very important. Mm. What you say is true. Motorola failed yeah. spectacularly to do that. Nokia failed. Someone's brought the Nokia brand and they're mm. making smartphones. Yeah. And why Microsoft mm. had Microsoft phones and they bought Nokia. That completely but, failed. Yeah. Microsoft phones. What happened to Microsoft phones? Mm. They spent a lot of money yeah. and they bought the Indian uh, manufacturing unit also mm. with a lot of difficulty. How, who and all that. Mm. The big wigs came here and cut ribbon and all that. What happened? It's gone. Mm. So that is the essence of it. They made Azure, mm-hmm. uh, Microsoft's competitor to iPod, mm. music device. Didn't go because they didn't innovate. Mm. Because 
that is the story which you should remember in this Wipro yeah. and ITC. And that's why BAT is failing. BAT is being forced to sell their house silver because they did not diversify in time. Mm. They stayed as a tobacco company, knowing all the while they cannot stop the end of tobacco. Mm. They thought somehow through lobbying and pushing, they can prevent governments from stopping tobacco. But people will not be able to consume tobacco very soon. Then what okay. are they going to do? Mm. And now they're forced into selling their ITC. When ITC demerges hotel, mm. they still have to please their investors to reduce their debt. Yeah. And to please those investors to reduce debt, they're going to sell their ITC holdings mm. in hotel. They're saying like this, like that, but the reason why they're selling it is because they need to lower their debt, mm. because they didn't diversify. I rather own companies which diversify and keep up with the times mm. than to hold a Motorola <laughs> and say they're still making phones. Mm. That sounds like you're more brand loyal than thinking logically. Mm. I, as an investor, you should not have brand loyalty. Okay. You can have brand loyalty for your shirts, pants and phones, mm. but for investing, for heaven's sake, <laughs> don't have brand loyalty. Just because Virat Kohli is starting a company, or Dhoni is starting a company, don't invest like that. They are great cricket players, no denying it. Mm. But business is something, playing cricket is something else. So check, I'm not saying they will do it terrible, but do check, make sure they have the right people running the right company. Mm. Don't fall for celebrity gimmickry. That's okay. what I'm saying. So I hope that this video is informative and you had some knowledge about the Vibro and ITC and how they started transition towards what they are now and how they were uh, previously. So if you found this video informative, please share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more kind of videos. See you in another episode with an interesting topic. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.